Greetings and blessings. Welcome back. This is Queen Uichi with Queen of Forces Healing Ministries. I hope the volume is good on my videos. If they are not, please leave a comment, um, send me an email because I'm not all that handy with this technology stuff and I'm learning as I go. So I noticed on the first reading I did that the audio was not good. And I think it was because I was playing music in the background and I was hoping to have some background music to go along with it. But all it did, I think, was cut me out, cut my voice out here and there. But I just didn't want to re-record the video. I'm like, I got to just put it out there or else I'm going to ever do it. So I'm back. Today is Monday. August 24th, it's in August, we're in Virgo season, shout out to all the Virgos, ruled by Mercury like the Geminis. Um, I'm here and I'm going to do a reading, see what happens. In my, I just uploaded a video about myself and why I'm here and I talked a little bit about how weird it is for me to do videos on YouTube. Um... Well, do tarot readings, rather, when I am not tapping into a certain person's energy. I'm used to doing personal readings, so this is a very different energy for me that I'm going to have to get accustomed to somehow. So, anyway, for this reading, I'm going to be using the Keepers of the Light Oracle Cards. I love these. And my handy-dandy Miss Cleo deck. My first deck, I'm telling you. I love it, I love it, I love it. So, I pray, but join me with taking a deep breath. Feeling grounded and peaceful, safe and secure. Knowing that the benevolent and righteous energies universe surround and protect this being surround and protect each and every one of us cleanse we are cleansed cleared and protected may this reading be of help and healing to someone i call on my guides and teachers my vanilla and righteous ancestors to walk with me I give thanks. <laughs> I got a certain guide right here to my left. Oh my God. Thank you for being here. Um, okay, so may the, let's get started. May the force of healing be with us. So we're going to start with our Cleo deck. We've been listening to the video. Spirit, what kind of messages can you give the collective today for me? What important messages are there for the collective through me today? What is it that we should know? What advice can we get on healing? Okay, let me show you what we have here so far. I don't know if I'll pick it all. Let's see. The first card is the Eight of Cups. Second was the Ace of Staffs. And the last was the Fool. So from my perspective, somebody is leaving behind some bullshit. Excuse my language. I do curse. Yes, I'm a minister. And I curse. If that bothers you, I'm sorry. Well, I'm not sorry, but I don't know what to tell you because sometimes that's going to come out. Eight of Cups, letting go, walking away, moving on, leaving something behind, maybe even somebody behind. Um, I 
it feels like to me that there has been no choice in this situation, really. Like, if you stay in this situation or with this person, it is not a healthy situation. And it, it feels like you have tried. You have exhausted every option that you could think of. Probably gave way too much. I guess that this could, it could be a job. It could be a romantic relationship. It could even be a friendship, whatever it is. It could be a place. It could be leaving a place to go to another place. Because with the Ace of Staffs and the Fool, you are leaving something behind because you want a fresh and new start. Like there's a passionate new beginning here. A very strong energy is like, I have to go. Like, I can't stay here another minute. This is not working for me. I need something else. It's like there's an itching or yearning inside that's just like, I can't do this. This must stop. And the only way it's going to stop if I stop it. So this is somebody like getting away. Like, I would think of other cards when I say that, but... You know, I let my intuition guide me and, and feel the energy of the reading. And this just feels like, you know what? I just got to go. This is not happening anymore. Like, I can't do this. I need a new beginning, a new life, a new way of being, a new thing, you know? And I want to start fresh. And I'm going to, this is, may look, look like it's a risk. People may not agree with me. This may not be what even I had initially planned. I thought plan A was going to work out. I didn't even have a plan B because I was so invested in plan A. But now here's my plan B. And my plan B is to get the hell on and, and see what is out there for me because this is not it. And... Sometimes I just have to pause when I'm feeling the energy <laughs> and getting my messages, rather. Um, yeah, it feels like somebody has been bored, possibly, also. So maybe that has to do with um, a job or something. There's been a situation with just, like, dragging not improving, boring, and not fulfilling. And so this Ace of Staffs come with this passion, this new vibrant energy, you know, and it's just so amazing. And if you could see on these cards, okay, the Fool is the beginning and end of the tarot, really. Like this is all about his journey. And so with the Fool and the Ace of Staff, this is some new shit. This is all brand new. Like, taste, take a risk. You've been thinking about it, you know, like me doing this um channel, you know? Been thinking about it. Been supposed to have been doing it for a while, or whatever. But this is something that you know will start your life completely over and go in a new direction. And, you know, this Ace of Staff, there's so much power in that. There's even fertility in that. You see the river, the, the stream of water, I'm calling it a river, the green, the lush, the sky, you know, this is a new beginning, a fertile new beginning. Things can grow, things can be better, things can change, you know, instead of this lackluster, situation not going anywhere, weighing you down. It's just not happening. Okay. Let's see if we can get maybe another card in here because I like to get one of those Keepers of the Light Oracle cards as well to see what they have to share with us. But this energy feels really good. Um, once you have the courage to move on from this situation, the doors will open. It's, it's like Maybe you've been hesitant to leave a situation or cut a situation off because 
that plan B wasn't right in your face, that other door wasn't right there. You know how a lot of people say, oh, don't leave your job unless you find a new one. And this could possibly be a situation where you don't exactly know where that new thing is, but you know it's there. Like you have that intuition it's just talking to you. You can feel it. You're unsettled and you know that there's something out there for you. But until you let something go, you can't get it. That's how it feels to me. Um, let's see. Bam, the world. Cycle, close, the end is over time for something new. Confirmation like, whoa. Okay, so here we go. Now, we got the food. We got the food. And in tarot, you know, the food is not like a negative thing to say. All right. Or at least not in this context. Not from what I'm feeling from this reading. Okay. The food travels this entire cycle to get to the completion at the world. And then see, he's zero. So he's the beginning and the end. So is the world. So I don't know what else to say. Bam, that's it. If you've been debating on leaving a situation and you've been bored with it, you've been ho-hum, it hasn't been working out, you've been feeling the right energy because, you know, we have major arcana here, you know, that's the big stuff. Like, you can't really, it's in your chart, it's in your contract, whatever you want to say, it's in your destiny to get past this situation, move on to something new because the cycle with that is over. The lesson has been learned, the job has been done, and now it's time for you to move on to do something else new, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. And then the tower. So, and with the tower, things come crashing down so that you can rebuild. And how I feel about this right now is if you continue to sit there and think about leaving, you know you need to leave, but, or you know you need to let something go, whatever the case is, and you're still not doing it, then something's going to come along and just kind of, hey, I already told you, you already told yourself, really, you know, <laughs> and my belief, we have our contracts, we know what we come here to do in the first place, so we might say some outside forces making things happen, but it's the deal we made with the force in the first place, so we bringing along um, tower energy is really a blessing for us because it helps us get to where we need to be, so this situation is over. Please take your time to pray, whatever you need to do to, you know, decompress and feel some peace about it. But don't tarry long. This to me is clearly saying there's a whole new situation ahead, maybe a whole new life ahead. You got to let it go um, before it ends in a way that's going to bring along some drama. That's what I'm getting. All right. So now we're going to go to the Keepers of the Light cards and see what they have to share. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. These cards are beautiful. Beautiful. And they have wonderful messages from um, Ascended Masters. And I am very grateful. I think I received these cards about three years ago. I have a lot of decks. We're calling tarot decks, but I always go back to Miss Cleo. That's my girl. Okay, thank you, Spirit, for the message. Krishna devotion. I'm gonna read what the card says. Trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. You are loved unconditionally. You are loved unconditionally. Okay? As you move through this journey, trying to decide how you're going to do what, how you're going to let this go to move on that next thing, you know, you have been devoted. Clearly. You have been devoted. It says trust your spiritual guidance. I'm here with your spiritual guidance. Burn the road up. 
as we used to say <laughs> back in the day down south. Burn the road up, get out of Dodge, peace, no spamos, adios. You know, you you stay committed. Okay, let's do another one. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, Lady Portia, divine order. Do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. Huh? What was I just saying? Hello. Confirmation. So if you want to Google the Ascendant Masters and learn a little bit more, do that. I'm pulling the cards up so you can have a good look at them. Divine order. Again, like I mentioned before about the contract. In my, my personal belief is we have a contract when we come here. Okay? It's like, all right, I'm going to go down to earth and I got to do ABC. I want to learn this. I want to learn that. Okay? So I made a contract. Listen, I've been doing all this stuff and other planets, other lifetimes, whatever. I need to go on earth, bring some healing energy do some tarot readings, talk to some spirits that's on some other place to help us where we at on earth. You know, I said all that. So I came here and then, you know, started out in Pentecostal church, had the parents I had, the experiences I had, and um, all to get me back to myself, you know? So if this is just confirmation, the cycle is over, you've committed to a certain situation, place or thing or person, and now it's time, it's divine order. It's time to move on and enjoy your life. Okay, I hope that helps somebody. And I will see you next time. Many, many blessings to you. May the force of healing be with you always. Ashtay.